Hello, YouTubers. James from DividingMediaCompany.com is back with a gear review of what I take on location for wedding uh, photography. First and foremost, gear checklist. Night before the actual wedding, uh, go through and check off, make sure I have uh, what's on the list in the bag so this way I don't forget anything. Secondly, morning of, we go over the list, double check, make sure everything's in the bag. That being said, let's check out the stuff. First and foremost, Think Tank, uh, steroid belt with the spider clip and uh, lens attachments. Absolutely love this. Uh, I used to use the um, black rapid straps, the double harness, went over my shoulders. Uh, it's too clunky, I was walking around and it was banging up against the pews. Uh, if I go kneel down and take a shot, I'd have to worry about my 7200 hitting the floor. I uh, wasn't having it. Oh, and also my back hurt like hell at the end of the night. So, moved on to the Black Rapid, uh, sorry, moved on to the Think Tank steroid uh, belt and the spider adapter. Absolutely love it. Um, beautiful bag. Carry a 7200 with the, with the hood on it. Uh, flash and my wide angle uh, 14 and 24 and my 24 is 70 and absolutely a uh, great product. Secondly, Sureline uh, pole, pole with uh, adapter. I'm not sure what it's called, but I got this through Amazon, I believe. And it lets me put on my, um, uh, what's it called? Octobox for my Allen Chrome Quadras or during uh, reception I put a uh, Pocket Wizard and Rogue Flash Bender with the uh, Speed Light and now we're mobile we have an uh, assistant holding this with uh, uh, mo a portable light stick. Also in um, here, love the Allen Chrome uh, Quadra system. This is their uh, Rotolux uh, Octobox. Great. Never leave them without it. Uh, very soft, beautiful light, and sets up in seconds. And getting to the actual gear. This is why I love the Allen Chrome system. Um, here's the cables. And in here I have my whole 400 watt uh, studio strobe uh, setup. This is the Allen Chrome Ranger Hybrid Lithium Ion Quadra Pack. Uh, it's an uh, asymmetrical pack. So, one, uh, it, it powers two strobes. One will be 70% power, the other one will be 30%. So, you automatically have a main light and a fill light. And this is why I love them. These are the actual strobes. So, this comes off. Here is the actual. Uh, flash tube and inside the little yellow thing, if you can see or not, is an LED light that you can uh, actually power from, turn it on and off from the remote trigger that sits on top of your uh, hot shoe mount. So I'll carry two of these guys. Uh, always got to have backup in case one fails, I have the other one. So let's put that guy back. All right, here is the Think Tank International Version 2. Absolutely love this bag. My best. Uh, Best investment yet. Yes, they are kind of uh, a little bit up there in, in price price range, but as much money as we spend on lenses, on bodies, on uh, speed lights, thousands of dollars, this bag is only 400 bucks. It's a hell of a bag. It holds a lot of stuff, uh, and the build quality is exceptional. Um, let's just go around the outside of it. Um, here's the front of it. Got a flow rack, a uh, road flash bender, the large one in there. Keep my uh, MacBook Pro so I can back up on the go if I have to. Uh, sides, you got a, uh, this is one of the beautiful things on it here. These are the locks, um, so nobody can open up your bag. You got a handle up on, on the side here, handle up on top, um, handle on the bottom. This side you also got a handle and it also holds your uh, tripod or uh, in my case uh, light stand. The top of it you have, um, sorry, 
my business cards here. All right, you go to the back. Here's another pocket, and back here, believe it or not, another rogue flash bender and backpack if you want to carry it uh, up some stairs or something where you don't want to roll it, you could go that route. Let's go to the front of it real quick. Uh, actually, yep. Here's the front. In the front we have a pocket. Uh, I have a little uh, lens cleaner. Uh, there's a ton of pockets here. Carry uh, business cards, um, flyers. Also on the interior you have another lock here. So you could say stick around the DJ light or whatever, lock it down. It's, it's a cable. It's just going to slow them down. It's not necessarily going to stop them. But hey, if you slow them down 10 seconds, maybe somebody will walk in and interrupt them and they won't be able to take it. That being said, let's go to the inside. See what kind of guys we have on the inside. I have the uh, Nikon D600 uh, with the battery grip. I have another D600. Um, no battery grip. Here is a D810 with the 7200. Um, the battery grip for the D810. Here I got the GoPro. Here's 2470. Uh, the rocket. Some triggers. Uh, 8512. Um, SB910, SB700, and Nissan Flat. Inside of the bag, uh, we got a Seagate uh, 2 terabyte uh, solid state drive. I don't like backing up uh, to the computers. I always do uh, external hard drives and Dropbox uh, in case one of them fails, like my iMac just did. Other pocket, I have. Uh, GoPro batteries, extra batteries, another lens cleaner. Here's another pocket. I got a neutral density filter. I have a trigger in case I'm doing long exposures. And down below, I got the Allen Chrome uh, radio control, the hot shoe mount, uh, extra batteries. Um, I have Eneloop batteries for my speed lights which I absolutely love. Uh, it lasts a long time and I would recommend the Maha charger for the uh, uh, loops. In the pockets we have a uh, Pocket Wizard Flex Mini TT1 uh, and TT5s for the uh, speed lights and also have the AC3 zone controller which is uh, very easy to use very uh, reliable and I can control uh, the flashes from the top of this uh, trigger very simply by just turning it down. Don't have to fuss with any menus or anything like that. Have another uh, lens cleaner because you never have too many of those. Uh, Siconic light meter. Um, GoPro. Uh, so you can do some behind the scenes footage uh, that you've seen on uh, my YouTube channel. I'll post a link right here. Click on it and you can see the behind the scenes. We got battery chargers. Um, I also have the um, Rogue. Um, what do we call this guy? I forgot. This is the Rogue uh, to grid for your strobe. If you want to just put spotlight, maybe a hair light on, on a bride or groom or whatever, you could use this. Um, another one of my favorite things is the Hoodman Hood Loop. As you all know, when we shoot weddings, we don't shoot uh, optimal uh, times or I shoot like it is now here in California. 95 degrees and it's uh, about 2 o'clock and we never see the back of the, the lens clearly so the back of the LCD so we put this on there and we could actually see it and it's magnified and you could actually check focus and all that uh, really easy uh, put them in hood loop keep going here lenses we got the Nikon 85 1.4 beautiful 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 portrait lens I use this uh, mainly for uh, bridal preps uh, when she's getting in her gown she's getting in her dress um, 
nice, beautiful, soft portraits. Very, very uh, beautiful bokeh with this lens. Probably one of my favorite lenses. Nikkor 85 1.4. And next pocket over. Nikon D600. Um, two SD cards. Shoot RAW on the top card and JPEG on the bottom card. Carry uh, 32 gigs on each one. This is my secondary camera. Um, I shoot mainly the wide angles with that. Here is another D600. Uh, these are both full frames. Uh, they both have 32 uh, SD cards and shoot RAW and JPEG into them. My main workhorse is the Nikon D810, uh, 36 megapixel, full frame. Um, absolutely love this camera. Uh, on Mount is the 7200 version 1 uh, Nikon glass. 90% of the wedding is shot with this lens and this camera. Uh, can't go wrong, I shoot uh, beauty shots, I shoot couples, I shoot groups. Uh, when you can't get close uh, to the bride and groom and, and the altar, uh, 200 is the way to go. And you throw on a 36 megapixel file, you crop in and get real tight. Keep going. 2470 2.8 uh, Nikon glass. Love it. Very, very sharp. Very, very fast. Uh, love that lens. Got the air blower, the rocket. Blow stuff off your uh, lens if you need it, or off your sensor. And finishing the training of lenses is the 14-24 Nikon 2.8. Uh, very wide angle, good for um, getting the whole uh, room or the, the whole church. Um, get the whole, capture the whole scene basically. And down to the flashes, we got the SB910 along with the uh, bolt adapter. So in here there's four and a loop batteries. In here there's eight more, so a total of 12 batteries running this guy. It increases the recycle time. It, it just you keep non-stop shooting pretty pretty much. I never have to change it out during a reception. And uh, great flash, absolutely love it. Another flash. This one's usually for on camera. SB910. Um, I'm sorry, SB700. Uh, this is more of an on camera flash. 90% uh, is done with the off camera and the light stick with the 910. And backup is a Nissan DI866. And last but not least, we got uh, extra cards, Think Tank. That's about it. That's how I get it done. Thanks for watching. Thanks for looking. Um, feel free to subscribe, like, share, and uh, comment, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, have a good one. Peace. I'm out.